How's it going shoppers? Today we are back at Costco waiting for the Costco drop. I am pretty sure someone got a $228 order here yesterday and I'm hoping that they decide to be generous again. The chances are so, so low, but maybe we'll get a banger still. It is getting really close to Thanksgiving and that just so happens to be one of the busiest times for Instacart. We got a 4.96 star rating, so we're not quite at five stars, but who knows if that even matters at this point. All right, so I'll see you guys whenever we take our order. All right guys, so it has been an hour and a few minutes since you've seen me last. It's been really slow, but uh, we ended up just taking a $73 Bed Bath & Beyond Costco order. So it's like one of those multi-store orders. For $73, we gotta take it. It's 28 miles going back to the town I live at. Still over a dollar per mile, including the round trip. So I'll take it. Alrighty, here's the Bed Bath & Beyond order. I think I know why this order is paying so much. This thing costs $400. It's a mattress topper. Kind of expensive. Now time to go venture to Costco and shop for this other person. We're trying to figure out who tipped what, and I'm guessing Bed Bath & Beyond tipped the most. Costco probably tipped pretty well as well. I think it's two flat tips. That or the Costco person's the only one that tipped. I don't know. I don't know what makes more sense. All I know is that I know nothing. Big brain. We finished shopping that order. It took a while because I couldn't find one item and it said to refund it if it was out of stock. I did so. Then while I was in checkout, my customer said that they did want a replacement. They're really nice, so it was just confusing. Looks like we will need a signature for that uh, Bed Bath & Beyond order though, so hopefully they're actually home. So sure enough, we had to do some verification there. So she was actually able to get on her app and sign there. If they didn't place it through the actual app, then what you guys will do is you'll scan their ID or passport because that works as well. And unfortunately, this is gonna be the last order I can do before my Amazon Flex block. So I may do another Instacart order after that. We will see how the day goes. So we just got a $13 HEB order. It's really small. We gotta get it done really fast though in order for us to make our block. All right guys, so we shopped that as fast as possible. I realized I probably should have not taken this order, but we're doing it so I actually get some Instacart content out there. It's gonna be really close on time though on getting back to the Amazon warehouse, checked in. I should have not done this to myself. All right guys, so we just finished our Amazon Flex route and we just so happened to be right next to Costco again. So we just took a $19 order going back towards my house. It's only five items, seven units. Let's go get it done. I'm tired. All right, here's the order. The Costco pizza smells so good. I'm too hungry for this. All right guys, 24 minute drive to this drop off and it is on the way to my house. Convenient. All right guys, so we're finally getting back to recording the final part of this video. We ended up only making $107 on Instacart, but that was because we had the $82 Amazon Flex block to bring our total closer to 190. With the holidays coming up, I do plan on doing more Instacart, so stay tuned for that. And just a quick disclaimer, I forgot to total my miles exactly, but I do know that we were past 150 miles, which is not the greatest, but that's mostly due to the Amazon warehouse being so far away. Consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys on the next one.